Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, today I got a little project. I'm helping a friend out. This is uh, for Jonathan Martin. Jonathan is a, a guy I've known for quite a while. He's actually one of the ringleaders in our big Arnfest event that we held, hold each September up in the uh, Chicago area at the uh, Illinois Railway Museum. Uh, he's actually the guy that kind of coordinates all that. And he reached out to me a while back. He's working on restoring it's some kind of grinder, uh, like a uh, belt grinder, I should say. Uh, not really a stone grinder, but a belt grinder. And uh, he's got a plating that that belt runs on here. And it's not flat. It's not even. It's got a bunch of, it's kind of worn, you know, circular shape there, which is common on these where that backside of that belt rubs and asked if I could put it on my surface uh, grinder and uh, grind it. So it uh, should be a real quick, easy project. Hopefully, we'll find out. Uh, but that is the project today. Let me kind of show you. I got one little challenge that we need to work on before we actually start grinding this face. Let me show you what's going on with that, and um, we'll get in there and get it knocked out. So this is the platen we're talking about that we got to grind. He wants this surface ground flat right now again there's a kind of a crown i think in the center we'll know better when we get over to the grinder and check it out but you can tell by looking at this this uh piece looks like it's been exposed to the weather there's a lot of pitting in here in areas um like right there and when you flip it over on the back uh you can see it as well there's all where all this pitting was in here he's cleaned it up uh, but some moisture got to this at one point in time. Here's my problem. We got the three points that it mounts on, and those were up tightly against the surface that it was mounted to. There's no rust or pitting behind those, but everywhere that was exposed, there was rust, and that rust actually caused this surface to, to kind of lift up. And, and the problem is, is that when you put something on here, there's, there's points in here that are higher than these. They wasn't that way originally. This was probably all ground like that originally. But uh, what I want to do is I just need to make sure that there's nothing sticking up high so that when I chuck this down on my magnetic uh, plate on the surface grinder, it's actually touching on these three points and not touching in some random place in here. Now, I think just to make life easy, I'm going to put a flap disc on a angle grinder and I'm just going to kind of come in here and just kind of hit those and um, we can take it to the surface plate. As long as it's hinging in these areas, that should be, tell me I'm, that's the areas of contact, but right now it's not, so I'll straighten that out real quick. Got a flap disc here on the angle grinder, and it doesn't need a bunch, but we're gonna, I'm gonna avoid hitting these originally ground areas. I just wanna get everything down below it, so um, let's just knock off some high spots. I think that should do it. I'm gonna go over my surface plate and just check that real quick, but I think that's uh, that's gonna be all we need. So I'm checking this now to make sure that it's hinging properly. When I say that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my surface plate and I'm gonna grab the end and turn it and it's pivoting about right there on this side and about right here on this side. And that's where our bosses are up underneath the bottom. When I first started, when I was hinging, it was hinging, you know, in the middle, which tells, told me that th that was the highest spot on that side, and um, that needed to be ground down. So I had to actually do, once I, I knocked down that center, I found a few other high spots. Anyway, I have uh, have done a little bit of grinding on that, and it's, it's riding on the three points now. So we should be good to go to the surface grinder and uh, get this mounted on there and get the other side ground parallel to those three points. I'm over at my Thompson surface grinder and we're gonna be doing this job on here. And uh, we'll be getting it on the chuck in a minute. But first thing I wanna do is I wanna dress this wheel. So I'm gonna start my wheel up and there is a built-in wheel dresser on this. So I'll just move this diamond down. We'll move the stone across it, dress the wheel and we'll back the diamond off. And then we should be ready to start grinding once we get the part chucked up on there. One of the coolest features of this uh, Thompson grinder is this uh, wheel dresser. There's a diamond uh, on this little piece here. And I've got it set where I can manually move my wheel in and out by hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here until I just touch off on that wheel right there. 
And I'm gonna press it and I can kind of hear it skipping a little bit. Just gonna give it a little bit more. So I'm gonna do one more pass. Actually, I'm gonna come back across it one more time after this. You want to do a fairly fast pass with that diamond to, uh, I mean, you want it to be flat, but you also want to kind of have a little bit of a roughness on it so it'll grind true. And notice I backed it out and we're ready to go. Let me clean my chuck up, get my part mounted on here, and we'll be ready to grind this out. All right, with the wheel dressed, I'm going to come in here and clean this table up. I'm going to be real careful around that grinding wheel, but I want to make sure there's nothing on there. And I like to take my bare hand and rub it on there. If there's any grit or anything on that, you can feel it with your hand pretty well. And with that, we'll get our part. And we'll place it on there. It feels good. And we'll just mag it down using the mag there. That is firmly attached. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to adjust the length of my stroke. We're going to be doing this uh, in hydraulic mode. So you can see right now, it's set up for the last job. So I need for it to go farther on this end. So I'm just going to loosen that up. Let's see, maybe come in just a little bit, about right there maybe. I'm looking at this side, it's coming off the ends. This end needs to come in just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. All right. So my stroke is good. Now I need to get my side to side going. So let me turn that on. And I'm just gonna let it kind of go hydraulically back and forth the full stroke. And I've got some stops here. And it needs to uh, go a little bit longer on each side. All right, that's coming off the wheel on the front and just a little bit more here all right I think we are kind of ready to go here so now what we're going to do is um, start lowering our wheel down and we're going to Continue bringing it down until we start getting some sparks off of it. I just want to, with this thing not being worn evenly, just because it touches in one place doesn't mean that that's, we're going to probably have a high spot. And I don't know where that's going to be at, so I'm just kind of going down slow. All right, we're touching off in a couple places there. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to put this uh, grinder in kind of a step mode where it grinds a little bit. I'm getting more of it across the, the whole part there. And you can see we're touching off. Let me get a little coolant going here. And I'm also going to Put this thing on where it will automatically move down about a thou per pass uh, on the head. So once it gets to an end, it's going to actually click it down. It'll automatically down feed. So I can just stand back and watch this thing go. So it did move down about a thou there. Should have anyway. And we probably see it hitting a little bit harder right there in those areas. Yeah, picking up some areas back here. And we're just going to let this go until we get the... Uh, whole top done. All right, it just went down again. And we're going to grind it flat. All right, we've down fed about five thousandths already, and you can see where it's hitting in the middle. We're just gonna keep letting it down feed until we get all the way across. This is really the nice thing about an automatic grinder like this is you can kind of sit back and just watch it run once you kind of get it set for a job. 
And um, you know, all you got to do is start and stop it. So once we get a good grind, we'll stop the down feeds, let it spark out. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. I think I said I was down feeding a thou. It's actually down feeding about a half a thou per pass. So uh, taking fairly light passes and uh, we'll just keep on going until we get it clean all the way across that face and we'll try to see about what we took off of it when it's all said and done. We'll just let it roll. Grinding's come along good. Let's see, we've taken about 10, 20. We've taken a little over about 25 thou off of there right now. So uh, it had a significant amount of wear in it. We're still grinding, but what I find interesting is the near symmetrical uh, wear that is on this part. Now you gotta remember there's a belt going across that, but it obviously wore more on the corners and it also more, wore more on the side. The center was the high spot. Uh, but it's just interesting to me how almost perfectly symmetrical uh, the wear was on this part. Yeah, just making a comment, but I thought that was neat. A little bit more, we should have this knocked out. We'll bring you back here in a minute. Looks like we got the top cleaned up up here. Still got just a little bit on each side. This uh, part down here in the middle is fairly deep, so we won't be able to get that out. I'm not gonna worry about that. But I do would like to really get those, get it cleaned up to the edges. And let's see how far have we gone here. 10, 20, 30, 40, a little over 40 thousandths, which is a little bit more than what I was uh, anticipating, but hey, it takes what it takes. Uh, and that's not counting any uh, wheel wear, which I'm sure we've got some wear to the wheel through this process. So uh, that may not be quite as much as it actually is. I didn't really measure it to begin with, so it doesn't matter. There's plenty of metal there. Uh, we're gonna get it to clean up and uh, we'll be done. We're getting really close here. This may be the last down pass, downward pass. Let's see if it, I wanna get a little bit more cleaned up right down there in that end. Let's see. You know what? We'll come back across one more time and I think we're gonna call it right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off that down feed and we're gonna make a couple of just blank passes going back across this without feeding down. And this is an important step in uh, grinding apart because you, you notice it didn't down feed, but it's still cutting. Um, there's just a, you, you can make 10 or 15 passes and each time it's gonna get a little bit lighter, but that's what really gets these parts flat. And you gotta take the time to do these blank passes on there uh, to really get a good grind. The other thing that I, I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna let this grind out a little bit and I'm gonna redress my wheel because my wheel, uh, we've, we've took a lot of metal off with it. There's no doubt that that wheel has degraded a little bit. And uh, I'm putting a fresh grind on there, it's just our fresh uh, dress on that wheel. It's just gonna give us a little bit nicer uh, grind there at the, at, in the end. So uh, we'll take another couple of passes, blank passes here, and then we'll uh, grind that, or dress that wheel. With that fresh dress on the wheel, we should get a nicer finish on this grind. kind of touching all the way across it. I'm gonna down feed about a couple more tents and we're just gonna let it spark out now. All right, we, we got a good contact from one end to the other. I've just been feeding down a couple of 10 thousandths at a time. And uh, with that going on, we're just gonna let it kind of spark out now until it quits cutting and uh, it should be good and flat.
not doing any down feeding here. This is uh, it's taking a really light pass there, but you can see the sparks coming off. It's still cutting. And uh, we're going to keep doing that until it's no sparks or practically no sparks. Like I said, it may take 10 or 15 passes. Now to finish this out, notice that I've got the head moving across real slow, but it's not stepping over. It's just constantly in, a, in movement from one end to the other. Um, when you really get down to that final grind, that really helps because a lot of times when it's stepping over, it kind of is just it's grinding in the same places every time. This is gonna be more random. So if there's any irregularities in that wheel, it should take them out. Now with that fresh grind we just put on there, I don't suspect we'll have a whole lot of irregularities in there, but still just a good practice. And you can, you can see in here, it's still cutting just barely, but a few more passes and I think we'll be done here, or we're gonna call it done anyway. And there we go. Very nice finish on that. I'm very happy with how that turned out. I think Jonathan will be as well. Very happy with that. It was, um, I added it up. It's, it took about 32, 33 thousandths off according to the down feed. Again, I'm sure we had some wheel degradation in there. Let's just say 30 thou is uh, what it took off to get that to clean up. But uh, looks great. I think that'll serve him well. And uh, I'm going to get that back in the mail to him so he can get his machine back together. Uh, real happy with how that turned out. Well, there we go, guys. One grinder plate and resurfaced, refurbished, and ready to go for another however many years. I think it'll be a while before they wear that out again. And, uh, yeah. Nice little grinding project. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Always enjoy doing some surface grinding. It just leaves such a beautiful finish. It's uh, it's a little bit time consuming, a little bit tedious. I mean, this whole job, it probably took me about an hour uh, of actual grinding time. Uh, wasn't too bad, but you know, you gotta be patient and you gotta take your time. You can't get in a hurry when you're grinding. And you know, I probably could have done those roughing passes a little bit heavier and got to the finish line a little bit quicker. But again, I just like taking my time and, and getting a really nice finish uh, like we got on this one. So there you go, Jonathan, I'll have that headed to you real soon. And with that guys, that'll be a wrap. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up, comments, greatly appreciated. Hit the bell icon to get notifications. And a big, huge thank you to all the supporters out there who support the site through Patreon, PayPal, uh, and, and other means as well. So uh, again, thank you very much. And with that, we will catch you on the next video.